John, you must be delighted with a 3 0 win over Huddersfield. Pleased with the win, yeah, obviously. You're pleased with any win. And, you know, when we're speaking to the lads before the game, I know people don't um, take a lot out of pre season games, but we always believe that you've got to try and win everything you play, and you've got to keep the momentum of winning games. Obviously, we won't get carried away. You know, it'd be easy to get carried away and say you've beaten the Premiership side. But, you know, we have to gauge, you know, what their priorities were, innit? And, you know, it's a big step in our fitness. And I thought we showed some good football. Uh, Buzzers done to the with the pitch. You know, we had to leave it a little bit long to try and protect it with this heap of it. Uh, so it was difficult to pass the ball at times. Um, but, you know, overall, I thought we, we showed some good good patterns of play. Scored a couple of good goals, or well, three good goals. And um, and showed a, a lot of energy and a lot of... Uh, or showed good fitness levels, which, you know, could stand us in good stead. Caden carried on where he finished last season with two good finishes. Well, you know, just speaking to everyone around the place at the moment, Caden, since he's come back in pre-season, he seems to have worked hard in pre-season himself before he's come back. And he's gone up a notch, or maybe two notches, to be honest. He, he looks a different player from last season, and he was very, very good last season. But he seems to have got quicker, he seems to have got physically stronger, his touch seems to have improved. So he, he looks all round a miles better player, even from last season, um, which bodes well for the future. As long as nobody comes in for him, because there's been a couple of... Well, you know, if nobody comes in for him, nobody comes in for him. Somebody does come in for him, and you see what, they, what he's done today. Um, you know, the price tags have got to start be, becoming realistic and, and all of a sudden now a million pounds isn't a realistic price tag, you know, for what people are paying for strikers, uh, top end of the championship and, um, and the premiership. You know, we've got a very special talent on our hands there and we, we hope to keep it. And Sean McConville finished it as well, so you're still taking free kicks? Yeah, you know, the way Sean plays, it was, you know, he took clicker off and Sean uh, ended up doing the... Um, doing the thankless task of playing a full game on, on the wing and running up and down. So he tired a bit towards the end, but I was really pleased with his goal because he worked hard and, and he showed some sublime touches, Sean, um, and he shows how, how well he's matured as a player. The unusual tactic of putting Ben Richards Everton up front. Well, we do it all the while and saying it, to be honest, but we were just mindful that uh, Caden had a knock and we didn't want to uh, over exactly. And you had two trialists on shore, are they going to play, take, play some part against Hyde? I hope so. We're, um, we've got a couple of little games coming up this week, so we'll hopefully we'll, we'll get something sorted out and, uh, and we'll see them for a longer period.